All right, guys, so today we're watching Love and Thunder. Uh, some people hate this movie because so many people have been telling us up to this point, this movie's terrible, they've ruined it. And I don't really know why people feel that way, to be honest, but let me know in the comment section why you love this movie, why you hate this movie, and what is your favorite Thor movie up to this point? I think me personally, mine was Ragnarok, because it was so funny. Yes, um, mine too, and luckily today, this is the same director. Taika Waititi. Waititi, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Um, so that's good, that's good news. So hopefully this will be a funny movie, and we're gonna figure out what exactly they did to the story arc of Thor. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, let's see. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon, and let's love and thunder, baby. Let's, let's go. go. That looks like reptiles. I was about to say, that looks like your toes. I wasn't gonna say that. I really considered that, but I didn't want anyone to think I have nasty feet. You were gonna say that about yourself? Yeah, unfortunately. That's Batman. Doing? That's Batman. Why? What are you talking about? That's the guy who plays Batman. That's him. Is it really? Well, I mean, I think so. Like, I don't know, baby. You might be more dehydrated than they are. Hmm. This didn't say another planet, but like totally, right? Oh man, yeah. Hmm. That's an oasis right there. Oh my gosh, water. That's crazy. I'd be scared the water's poison or something. This place yeah. seems creepy. Oh. Oh. oh, he healed. Didn't that look like that spot in Shang-Chi where she was ah. gathering all the wind? What do we have here? Yeah, kind of. That garden. Look at it. It's gobbling up all my fruit. Raku, bring her a flight. Oh, it's one of mine. <laughs> I am Gore. We have lost everything. The land is dry. Our life is lost. Our faith in you never wavered, and now we await the promise of the eternal reward. Is this why you celebrate? <laughs> he thinks there's an eternal reward. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, sorry. There's no eternal reward for you, dog. <gasps> what we're celebrating is though. a fresh kill. That was pretty, pretty bad, actually. We just vanquished the holder of the necro sword before he could harm any other gods with that cursed blade. Threatened to end my entire empire. Oh my lord, your empire has already ended. There's no one left to worship you. There'll be more followers to replace you. There always are. We have suffered, and we have starved. <laughs> My daughter died in your name. And well, you should. Suffering for your gods is your only path. There's nothing for you after death except death. You are no god. That's a really eccentric god, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's him on, on his necklace. I renounce you. Now your meaningless life finally does have a purpose. To sacrifice yourself to me. Go to eternity. Is this? Man, they didn't warn him or nothing, did they? They just watched. Whoa. The sword chose you. You are now cursed. Funny. It doesn't feel like a curse. Feels like a promise. So this is my vow. Oh God, she will die. Man, that's crazy. Well, you didn't give them nowhere to go. <laughs> you're, you're like, well, your only purpose is to be sacrificed to me. So what else are you supposed to do? I mean, yeah. It's either die or get killed. Um, you know? So that was totally Batman, right? Yeah. Was it? I, I, don't, I don't get the vibe. I don't know. I don't really I'm not that observant. I mean, we just watched three movies with that guy. Come, well, he didn't like that neither, so I don't know. The legend of the Space Viking, aka the God of Thunder, aka Thor Odinson. 
We love this song. We do? We don't love it. Raised in the way of the warrior, Thor was taught to help win battles, fighting the good fight for those who can't fight good. <sighs> yeah, like we he just listened to the song. And he grew, and he grew. He was sensitive, like a smile, and his loving nature did not. He once loved a swashbuckling <laughs> fashionista. Another time, he loved a wolf woman. What the? But Thor's one true love was an earth woman named Jane, Jane Fonda. What? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Jane Foster, but sadly, in the battle for love, Thor lost. Ooh, in fact, <laughs> he lost a lot of people in those. And that his guy, brother. And that guy, and whoever that is, and Heimdall, and his brother, and his brother again, and again. Oh yeah, true. It seemed that everything and everyone he loved, he lost, and so he hid his heart behind a big fleshy bod so it could never be broken again. But just because he was done loving, didn't mean he was done fighting. He teamed up with the Guardians of the Galaxy and set <laughs> off on some classic Thor adventures. He got in shape, putting in the hard Thor's yards, reference. turning pains into gains, and never skipping leg day. Because <laughs> all of the bonds that <laughs> Thor had worn over the years couldn't hide the pain that he was feeling on the inside. So they're so fighting and he's he just up chilling? search for love. Accepting that he was only good for one thing, waiting in quiet contemplation for someone to say, Thor, we need your help to win this battle. Thor, <laughs> we need your help to win this it battle. It was like Yuri Prohaska, don't he? Oh, the samurai guy? Yeah. <laughs> Back to work. Must hurry, okay? <laughs> the dime. See you down there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is Nebula screaming while shooting? She's like Rambo. <laughs> that looks like a Furby. I am good. Ah, you got sap all over it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Well, well, look who it is. How are we doing, guys? Horrible. Who said this planet would be a relaxing holiday? I said it was going to be like a relaxing holiday. We look at that resplendent sky, suns, and Saturn. What could be more relaxing <laughs> than that? An actual holiday. Die, who gets go? Oh, what a cool God city. Of Thunder. King Yakan. You have finally joined our. Well, as they say, better late than not at all. It's very nice. And now our sacred temple has been left unguarded and Hokuska's hordes took control of it. Ah, oh, this our most sacred shrine and he desecrates it. Not for long. Ah. King Yakan, tell them what happened here today. Tell them the time that Thor, his ragtag motley crew, misfit desperado, <laughs> turned the time. I thought they were about to die. That's their names in history. The odds may be against us, but I'll tell you this for free. Here it comes. This ends here and now! Why did he quote him? <laughs> Why did that thing love that? <laughs> So far, like eight minutes in, I'm not sure how I feel about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're obviously doing this to show how OP he is, right? I'm not really sure why they're doing this. <laughs> why are you at war with those things? They're, they're adorable. They're like Barbies or something. <laughs> what is he doing? Like, what is this? Uh oh. Oh, he shattered it. <laughs> it's about to crumble, right? Well done, everybody. We can collectively take credit for that because we worked as a team. <laughs> to defeat the enemy with minimal loss or damage. With minimal. <laughs> Why would you build it out of glass, though? <laughs> That's kind of on you. What a classic forward adventure. Hurrah! <laughs> oh, 
No, Jane Foster. It's Jane Foster in the MRI machine or something. Good book. Yeah. I wrote it. You're, you're Dr. Jane Foster? I am. Hi. Hi. How's the uh, Einstein Rosenbridge? It's tough. Yeah. Really tough. It, it's, the, um, you need a 3D model. You ever see Event Horizon? No. Interstellar? Uh, no. That movie explains everything really clearly. Oh. Um, all right. Yeah, the basically. Einstein wrote old space so that point A and point B coexist in sp like that. You just ruined your own book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now you understand wormholes. <laughs> I'm sure he understood before. Okay. Okay. The hot if he's reading that book, don't you think? Dars? So how's, uh, how's it going? It's going amazing. Have you told anyone else besides me? When people find out, they start acting weird. They're just different. Anything but she's sick. Right anyway, it's not that. Jane, it's stage four. Yeah, she's got cancer like, or something. How? Stage four. four. That we know about. <laughs> Ooh. Well, she's talking about playing the Thor car for. That's what she means, right? Yeah, but maybe like, I don't know, to help with her research. <laughs> we suck at pronouncing that thing. <laughs> yeah, we don't try on camera. <laughs> okay, I get it. So she wants to go here to get some like like some, research yeah some her. experimental medicine or something yeah well that's where i would have started with thor huh you would have just hit up thor immediately well yeah we're on stage four y'all got some stuff oh my gosh infinity cones <laughs> okay so asgard's thriving as a tourist town it's okay i mean it's you know but it's a tourist town. I like the old one a little better, but that's just me. Look at this place. Beautiful. Home. Yes, home, father. We're here to take you home. <laughs> yes. To planet Asgard. <laughs> Private Ryan. Asgard is not a planet, my son. It is you. And now it is time for me to pass on to the spirit realm. I will take my place. Oh, one more thing. You have a sister. <laughs> I'm disappearing. Oh yeah, and their sister comes and she's wild. She's hell on wheels, ain't she? He's hell on wheels. <laughs> Brother, an ominous portal has appeared <laughs> behind us. Transform! He plays a good Loki. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> I know that lady. You probably to don't. Claim is the right probably not who you think it is. Throne. Yeah, she's in Bridesmaid. No will stop me. Join me or die. We will never join you, witch. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> I broke your hammer. <laughs> Time to die. <laughs> My cross. <laughs> You can almost feel the power of these magnificent and immovable stones. Uh oh. Sorry, I didn't realize that was Jane Foster at first. Is this a dream or does everyone see that? I don't know. Oh, Dr. Saskia, we thank you. In return for your service, please accept these gifts. <laughs> as this tradition protectors bestowed with the great beasts. <laughs> oh. Giant goats. Oh, look at those. They are wonderful. Oh, look at those. <laughs> are they yelling? King Yakan, thank you so much. I didn't know what it was about to be. I thought they had a prisoner. <laughs> oh, they are beautiful. They yes, must they be annoying. <laughs> what do you think? They also scream quite a lot. They'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, I need to find the damn remote that we can download it. I love them. Jack loves them. Talk, you okay? All right, everybody just relax. The goats are going to be fine. If not, we can just leave it to meet. Ting people, meeting people. They're a great conversation starter. And I've been told you can summon them with a special whistle. It goes something like this. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. There we go. Yeah, that's not it. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? Yeah, you said to stay with the ship. 
This is Glenda. We're married. <laughs> what do we tell you about jumping into new relationships? Then I shouldn't be new. Yeah, you can't get married on every single planet we land on. I am Groot. Finally. All right, here we go. Distress calls. Please help us. The God Butcher has found us. God Butcher? Yeah, but all of these gods <laughs> murdered. Our greatest champions. Who could have done something like this? Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Go, go back. Play that one. Thor, oh, where are you? Sif? We need you here. My friend is in danger. We must go at once. Thor, you gonna be okay? I admire your commitment to each other. It's a beautiful thing. But last is something I'll never have. Buddy, if I may. You may. After thousands of years of living, you don't seem to know who the hell you are. <laughs> I've been lost. <laughs> then I found meaning, found love. And yeah, I got taken from me, and God, that hurts. But that shitty feeling is better than feeling empty. My hope for you, one day you will find something to make you feel this shitty. I have loved before. It didn't work out. I either die a grismal death or they dump you with a handwritten letter. I don't know which is worse, but it's why I keep everyone at arm's length. <laughs> Grown to attach, damn it. I knew this would happen. You must go. I'll find Sif. You answer the other calls. The galaxy needs its guardian. Cool, yeah, we were just leaving. Oh, I know it hurts. <laughs> but it's better this way. You have to trust me. He is all over the place. He was Use like in a garden, and now he's like a rocker. And, Take this ship yeah. as a parting farewell gift. Oh, you're giving me my ship? Yes, she's yours. May you make as many memories with her as I have. The temperamental old last will serve you He's well. acting like that's his ship. <laughs> Start the ship. He's giving his ship Goodbye, to Peter. old friend. Remember what I told you. You ever feel lost? Just look into the eyes of the people that you love. They'll tell you exactly who you are. <laughs> oh, he was not making eye contact with him. <laughs> he was looking at his crew. <laughs> Load again, me and you. I guess we'll see them in Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy. Yeah, three. Yeah. Right now it's Thor time. So what do we do now, bro? Let's go get Sif. There he goes. Now he doesn't look ridiculous. Oh, those goats have to come. <laughs> Before he put on that uniform, he was looking like damn Triple H or something. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Who or what is that? Falagar, God of the Falagarians. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's me, oh, no. You're missing an arm. I mean, get you home. No, leave me here. I want to die a warrior's death. You have to die in the battle. You survive. Shit. Maybe your arm is in Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? I've been hunting a madman. The God Butcher is coming. He seeks the extinction of the gods. Asgard is next. That means you, brother. That means Valkyrie. You know what? I do like the town. It's cute, right? It's got like an old northern fishing village. I mean, that's what they got. I don't know. I feel like they could have bought a better piece of land. But that's where his dad died. That looks like he knows the Moon Knight. Oh, damn. He cut it loose, didn't he? <laughs> Whatever it is. Like curses. Oh, never mind. Monsters. Let's go, Valkyrie, right? Ain't that her name? Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Yeah, I remember when she fell off that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The death ball. There's a new guy. That guy, you're gonna love that guy. Who is it? Silver. Ant Man? Me, I'm my no. Aww. How did he get his Mjolnir back? <gasps> no! Oh, it's Jane. It's Jane, because remember when Jane oh. walked up? Okay. What the? She's a girl, Thor. Man, that thing explodes like a grenade. Or a shotgun. That's what I was gonna say. But she needs that music in the background too. <laughs> Offended. Hey! Hey! 
Jane? <laughs> <laughs> well, Let maybe me tell you her. the legend Thor and Jane. He was a god of thunder and she a woman of science. And although they were from different worlds, somehow it just made sense. And together they embarked <laughs> on a journey of love. Good night. And as time passed, their love grew deeper and deeper. She's incredible, isn't she, Mjolnir? What is that? I want you to promise me. It's a Halloween costume. Oh. She's gutted. He said, I promise you'll always protect her. Becoming magical. Aww. I said, I, I said, I got you, fam. Thor set his sights towards a future and all it might hold. But the more he pondered a life with Jane, the more he feared losing that life. And although Jane didn't want to admit it, she was scared of loss as well. And so they built walls between them. Thor got busy saving <laughs> <Nick> humanity. <Furry. laughs> Jane got busy said, doing no. the same. Real busy. And eventually the space between them grew and grew until it became too wide to bear. Aww. And then one night, it did give. Jane wrote a note, and Thor read that note. <laughs> <laughs> and their legend suddenly became myth. Now they're in the same profession, though. Mm -hmm. There's like a whole war going on. How? Can we talk about this later? Yeah, sure. You got a nice backhand. <laughs> what? Creepy. That's funny. Dang, it pulled up, didn't it? <laughs> Brave. It's really trying to kill the gods. Is that the Necro Sword? It's cool. I've only ever read about it in stories. <laughs> 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 Oh, choke slam. Oh, he stands a shot now. 3v1. Cheating ass. Run, <laughs> oh, heck no. Nah. So he just takes the kids and leaves? Like what the I don't even know where he went. To the to the underworld or something. Yep, he Shut went to the upside monsters. down. Disgust. Cowards must have run away. We'll find them. He kinda of was like a Power Ranger. <laughs> Quite a reunion, huh? Uh, you're telling me. What's it been like? Three, four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months, and six days. I haven't <laughs> forgotten the last time I saw you. I didn't see you because you left. <laughs> kind of an oversimplification to say that I left. I suppose we both left and both got left. Now you're leaving again. Meek, we need detailed accounts from all the witnesses. <laughs> Laura, get me all the names of the children who've been lost. Your Majesty, my daughter's been taken out of Majesty, should we start working on a performance entire debacle? People need entertainment. Particularly now in times of crisis. Particularly. Oh my gosh. Is that... Yeah, that's him. Not Matt Damon? Yeah, he Nor was Loki. <laughs> the actors think they're very important right now. <laughs> so that's the ex-girlfriend, is it? The old ex-girlfriend. Jodie Foster. Jane Foster. <laughs> Jodie Foster. The one that got away. Must be hard for you to see your ex-girlfriend and your ex-hammer hanging out and getting on so well. <laughs> What you up to, bro? <laughs> hey, about to slap him. <laughs> Just calling you. With what? Half our soldiers are dead. This is his old piece. Everyone, please go home. I promise you we'll have news soon. Yeah, because Tyrion Lannister made that one, right? Yeah. That's gone. <laughs> My friends, we must not quarrel. Times like this, we need to unite, come together. See what's happening here. We're afraid, hmm? scared, afraid, anxious. If we are to find the children, we must first look within ourselves. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Meek. It's very hard to get a rousing speech with the eh, 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 noise. What are you doing? She's taking minutes. Well, precious minutes we don't have. Got the kids back? Oh, 
is jealous. <laughs> Didn't find them. Okay, your cape's on fire. Fine, it'll grow back. I'm invoicing you for this. Listen, what do we know about this? He travels through shadows and he creates monsters with them. Absolutely freaky monsters. He also wields a necro sword. How do I know that? Because he almost speared me in the face with it. What's a necro sword? It's an ancient weapon that's been passed through hands since the it has the ability to slay gods. But slow I'm waiting on it to grow back. Whoever <laughs> wields it, which means... Oh, so it infected him. It's infecting him, yes. Well, so basically, we're up against Kerr, Shadow, Zombie, Kidnapper. Awesome. When do we leave? Thor? Can you see me? Uh, floating head alert. It's Astrid. Heimdall's son. Astrid, are you okay? I no longer go by the name Astrid. I'm now known as Axe. He's a singer from a popular band I heard on Earth. Gina! <laughs> Astrid? Axel? Where are you? I'm not sure. I don't know how to use my magic eyes yet. Your father taught me and I'm gonna teach you. I need you to focus and hold out your hands. Close your eyes. Oh. Whoa, good job, nice. kids. Hey, how's it going, kids? How's it going? <laughs> Look where we are. Yeah, that's right, not good. Are you gonna do something? Yes, yes I am, but just not right now. I'm the vision ghost. Look. See? What will happen to us? You can tell. This is a very, very bad situation. <laughs> you know, the good news is, tell. as guardians. So if you die, you'll end up in Valhalla. Oh my god, go away. <laughs> wait, wait, then. I, I've got a plan, okay? I'm putting together a really, really good team. We've got um, uh, Uncle Korg, King Valkyrie, um, yeah, my ex-girlfriend Jane. To be honest, he should be good at getting out of these cages. He was in one in Ragnarok. Yeah. A, a top -notch team. He started the movie out. We're going to have you home before you know it. Ow. Oh, they're trapped. I know where you are. Ooh. I'm going to get you out of here. I'm scared. We all are. Yeah. See you soon, all right? Axel, get me out of here. They're in the shadow realm. How do you know? The atmosphere there has a darkness like no other. It's as if color feels to tread. It's unmistakable. Well, then, if it's They're color, in the shadow realm. Need... Bring the rainbow. Bring the rainbow? Was that a catchphrase or something? She's only been a Thor for a minute. I mean, saving lives, she's quite good at, but the rest of it, she... How many catchphrases <laughs> have been? A lot. Yep, jump the gun. Oh, it was Taste the Rainbow. <laughs> he moves through shadows and he's going to the Shadow Realm. It seems like that's where he's going to be the most powerful. You're right, we can't just go marching in there. It could be a trap. We'd be endangering the children. Mm. We need reinforcements. We must raise an army. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I'm thinking it. What are we th thinking? What? Thinking what? Omnipotent city. city. Mm. <laughs> I didn't think that at all. It's the home of the most powerful gods in the universe. We could pull together the greatest team ever. We could recruit Ra, uh, Hercules, Duma Toenga, Quetzalcoatl, maybe, and Zeus. <laughs> The oldest and wisest of them all. Did you say Zeus? Yeah, Zeus. Like the Zeus. Zeus, Zeus. Uh, I'm not sure if he has a second name. You think my god <laughs> will be the ninny of the nonny? No, you never know, Cog, but if they are, we'll ask them to join our team. Yes. Stormbreaker. <laughs> hey, ah, ah, calm down, relax. No, 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 mate, we are not traveling in Stormbreaker's janky bifrost. Yeah, uh, if we had a ship, we could harness it and use Stormbreaker as a power source. Oh, like an engine. Like an engine. You need a ship. I've got a ship. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's a different type of shit. All those seats. Yeah, you guys go tie those goats to the front. We leave in 15 She called minutes. it Central janky Zoe, by Frost. Everyone. That's essential. Mm -hmm. uh, you moved on quick, didn't you? <laughs> so how did uh, you guys get together? How did this happen? I swear I heard Mjolnir call to me. Oh, I did it. And so I came here to investigate. <laughs> its pieces started glowing and swirling and then... Crazy. Thor. <sighs> Just checking. <laughs> he can still pick it up. He just can't summon it though. See you later. <laughs> what? We were just talking. Oh no. Don't leave me. Don't be afraid. Even when I'm gone, honey, you won't be alone. Oh, that happened to her mom too. Oh. Whatever happened, never stop fighting. So she basically has to be Thor to survive, I guess. Or either she just became that. Great. I don't know. Mm. Seems like it. The sink would say otherwise. You think I really should be coming? I'm not getting any better. You're a Thor, of course you should come. Besides, what else are you gonna do? You're a Viking now. Okay, we should go. Mm. You packed? Are you packed? Yes. <laughs> a hand grenade. No, it's a portable speaker. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Let's go. I never buy speakers with the lights on them because that hurts My the battery. Life. Guardian. Does it? Yeah, I'm a JBL well, guy. For we shall I like ours. With we will return with children. 
Okay, we should go. So there's some crazy ass guardian history on. That's crazy. Look, they got some ring, some ring goats. <laughs> I love those goats. <laughs> Look at this movie. <laughs> it's goofy. It's, hard for it's about goofy as <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I hate it though. I really don't. It's so much fun. It's just so goofy. The goats are like. <laughs> I love that goats. place is cool. Goats are so, so unique. The thing about Thor is that he always bounces back. Like when Hela stole his hammer, he went and built an axe which was forged in the heart of a dying star. <laughs> and the same axe was used to cut off Thanos' head. <laughs> Come on. What a neat story. <laughs> Ask you a question about gods. They're meant to protect you, right? Well, where are they? Thor is on his way. Yeah. Yes, I'm counting on that. That's why you're here. Oh, it was bait. It's invitation only, so we're gonna have to keep a low profile blend in. Thought of these. What are those? Actual disguises. <laughs> Holy shit. Welcome to the Golden Temple, kids. This is where the most powerful creative gods in the universe hang out. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's Bao, God of Dumplings. Psst, hey, Bao. <laughs> <laughs> Look up there. The God. best one. That's the Cronin God, Ninny of the Nonny. Hey, Ninny oh. Nonny. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look like a Game of Thrones? I don't know. Why was he real? <laughs> <laughs> the Ninny of, of the, the Nonny. nonny. <laughs> he said, we can ask him to join too. He's like, yes. <laughs> is like the 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 most like popular god, right? I think so, yeah. The, most powerful. the A1. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maximus. What's his name? Russell Crowe? Is that what his name is? Russell Maximus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, I don't know if you know this, but I... Oh, the sidearm. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hereby open this holy council over the god. Time's right now. Time is not right now. Talking. Who is talking? These guys. <laughs> you have something to say to the group? Sorry. You see that girl? They're I'm pointing. Bashing heads in sixty. <laughs> Hello. Uh, let me be the first to say it is an honor and a privilege to be No, here. I can't hear you. Why don't you take the stage? <laughs> oh, poor Thor. He's getting shot up by his idol. <laughs> Who is that dude? <laughs> uh, oops. Sorry. Good luck, bro. Is that Saruman playing the harp? Mighty Zeus. <laughs> wow. Gods of the universe, I come here to ask for your help to raise an army. There's a maniac called the God Butcher who seeks to end us all. Destruction is everywhere. Entire planets, realms have been left completely unprotected. He's left nothing but chaos in his wake. But I know where he is. With your help, we can crush him before he kills anyone else. That guy killed a couple of low-level gods. Boohoo. If that's all, pretty boy, you go back to your seat and you be quiet. Uh, I'm sorry, did you not hear any of what I just said? He's murdering en masse. I tell you, one time, now you chat up, quiet. You are this close to being uninvited to the orgy. Zeus, we must do something. Ew. You have to listen to us. That's it. Shut <laughs> Let's see who you are. And flick him. <laughs> they strip him. Flick too hard, damn it. All right, looking. <laughs> we help out. I mean, eventually. And what about the other? We take off their disguise too. Oh, no, 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 if you're not going to help us, then I'm really need your weapon. We need your lightning bolt. And the bolt! <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
He caught it off the hop, didn't he? Is he showing that he's like, no one's as good with it as him? <laughs> like what? Or is he a Harlem Globetrotter? No! <laughs> Do not worry. The good butcher, he will not reach eternity. Eternity? What does he mean, reach eternity? Oh, shit. <laughs> eternity is a very powerful being at the center of the universe. It will grant the desire of the first person who reaches it. So it's like a wishing well? What do you think a guy called the God Butcher would wish for? If he seeks the altar of eternity, that means he could wipe us out. That's kind of like Dragon Ball Z, that dragon. He must act now. Uh, Stop going to you don't know about that. He doesn't have the key. Is this the purpose of the gods? To hide away in a golden palace like cowards? Maybe we have lost our way. So now, you must stay. What's his accent? I'm trying to place oh. it. <laughs> I don't know. Hell yeah. Oh, you didn't say go. Yeah, she didn't, did she? It's a natural. <laughs> if they made that gold red, it'd be so graphic, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. No way. No. Oh, no. No. Oh. I mean, to be fair, though, you knew that was going to happen. That's so mean. Zeus! Beyond that, Northern Sun! What? That's the sound of lightning. Dang, so he just murdered Zeus. Oh, my gosh. Ready to go for a ride? I thought Thor was about to drop So he's just a phase yeah. now? That's Don't that. Alive. Now you got my six. Eight o'clock now. Oh. <laughs> 48. I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus, damn it. This was it. Oh, is that it? <laughs> That's how you call the goat. Did you see that thing tilting his head? Yeah. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> they love some Guns N' Roses in there. So they just needed the thunderbolt. Gopo came in, and rescued us, and we flew out the window. <laughs> the end. Another classic Thor adventure. I can't believe you killed Zeus. Well, you know what they say: never meet your heroes. But what's important is we are on our way to you right now. How are you guys doing? Are you okay? We're all right. A little scared. Well, listen, I know what it's like to be scared. <laughs> right? Thor. Yeah. I'm glad I met my hero. Oh, thanks, buddy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they so annoying? How are the children? As you can imagine, they're a little bit scared because they're kids, but I told them that everything is going to plan. All right, this is the army right here. It's sleek, it's slender, it's powerful, it's beautiful. Uh, for you, I love it, Akree. I mean, it's not really what I'm into because I've got my my weapon out there. Can I borrow that one? So his weapon's getting jealous. Listen, yeah. Uh, we, we good? Come on, Mjolnir, in the past. It's you and me now, buddy. What if it drives you to the wrong spot? Right. Sorry. Hey. Oh, hey. It's quite the view, huh? <laughs> yeah, beautiful. I just want to say that was uh, very, very impressive what you did back there. You and me all near space uh, dolphins. What? <clears throat> this, you should see them, space dolphins. Oh, wow. So <gasps> beautiful. Wow. So beautiful, so oh, rare. Wow. And a very loyal just love. <laughs> That's weird as hell. Oh, brother, man, you look so hot. Gonna get in your rocks. When we get together, we're gonna get it on, and we're gonna make some mic? baby. <laughs> Jane, Laura. I want to feel shitty about you. What? I want to feel shitty about something. I think that's you. Damn it! <laughs> I want to. <laughs> my friend here told me that it's better to feel shitty and losing love than it is to never experience love and to feel nothing at all, to feel empty. And I think he was right, which is how I've been feeling for a long time. Thor really is the god of feelings, ain't he? <laughs> yeah. I want to be with you, Jane. Uh, what do you say? I have cancer. Dang. I'm sorry, what? I'm sick. Wait, what is happening? When did you find out? Like six months ago, I. I was just feeling tired, and then they told me I have stage four, get my affairs in order. And then mm. I heard Mjolnir calling me, so I thought maybe science isn't working. Viking space magic. 
Well, that's why you came to New Osgoth. Yeah, I thought the hammer maybe could cure me, and I think it's getting better. Maybe not. Jane, none of us know how long we have. We don't know what tomorrow holds. And Mjolnir, Mjolnir chose you. It chose you because you're worthy. When I first met you, I was unworthy. I was unable to pick up, but you taught me. There is no greater purpose than to help those in need. You made me worthy. So whatever you want to do, we can do together. Now, what do you want to do? I want to get those children back to their families. I want to finish that mission. It's probably like a true thought. How do you feel now? So scared. How are you feeling? Shitty. How shitty? That sucks she has stage four. Yeah. But I'm confused. Like, so the minute she leaves and goes back to just normal life, she's going to have it again or no? It seemed like it. It seemed like when really she dropped sure the hammer. Work, yeah. Hey, we're here. Oh, no. Mean that they're here? <laughs> they're not here. Where are they? Oh no. Wow, she adds color with it. That's cool. So they couldn't open the Bifrost? That's what the little map said, right? Yeah, or they're like using it to track them or something. Who tell me why you just threw Stormbreaker out the window? He needs it to open the gates of eternity. Oh, that's what it is. Sure, if you I come as a bad guy or not. No, nothing. Being a god. You went to the just gods for help, and they did nothing. Mm. They're alike in that set. I said he's nothing like you. That's right. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm truly creating beasts. You're murdering innocent gods. Innocent? Are you a Valkyrie? Yes. Oh, <laughs> how exciting! Uh, oh, the gods failed you too. Your sisterhood was led to slaughter. You can't speak. Oh, good chat. This one. You're interesting. You're different. You're dying. This is what all bad guys have in common. They all talk too much. Yeah. Just as the sword empowered me, the hammer empowered you, but it did nothing to change your fate. The gods will use you, but they will not help you. There is no eternal reward for us. I know your pain. Love is pain. I had a daughter. I put my faith in a higher power, hoping it would save her. And she died. Choose love. Call the act. The subtitle said growling in effort. In effort. Oh my gosh. You okay? Yeah. I want to kill this guy. So do I, but we have to take him alive. It's our only link to finding those children. <laughs> maybe people hate it because the end scene's in grayscale. Or maybe that's one of the reasons. What well, was on Kill Bill 2? Good guess. Dang, they just smacked him. Uh oh. Oh no. We gotta get her out of here. Guys, 
over here. Come on, let's go. Stormbreaker, take us home. Oh no. He's got it though. So he's gonna get to make the wish or whatever. What was the man? Why don't you just wish for his daughter back? That would be the smart thing to do. Oh no. There are other aggressive forms. Try. Something's affecting her body's ability to fight the cancer. I'm sorry, Thor. Maybe she did enough to get into Valhalla. What are you doing? I hope so. Does she count as a warrior? Oh, there you are. What's going on out there? Oh, some moron made a fridge without a door, please. <laughs> Not to worry, well, stop beating her shit out the vending machine. How's Val? Oh, she's in a lot of pain, uh, but she is stable. Now you just gotta get this Go out of the my Oh, no, no, no. Stay in there. That's all the magic potions and elixirs doing their thing. So <laughs> she's gonna kill the bad guy and then uh, come straight back. You're going without me? Uh, yeah. Great to have you on the battlefield. Fighting gore side by side, but that hammer is killing you. Mm -hmm. Every time you use it, it's draining all of your mortal strength, leaving your body unable to fight the cancer. Now I see. Yeah. I want to keep fighting. I'm the mighty Thor. Because I love you. I've always loved you. And this is a chant for us. If you pick up that damn hammer again, then that chance is gone. But a stage four, buddy. It's your choice, Jane. But I'd regret it every single day if I didn't ask you to stay here so we could try and figure this out together. You better come back to me. I'm coming back as soon as I can. Hey, don't die. That little bolt was like something you'd pick up at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah. For like 22 bucks. He's awfully talented. It's a shame he just wants to go kill everybody. Someone caught it, right? Make it. <laughs> Everyone okay? All right, gather around, gather around. Good to see you in person. All right, listen up. Here's the plan. Does anyone here have battle experience? <laughs> We're not strong like you. We're just kids. Hey, don't forget you're Asgardian kids. I'm not. I'm just a liking kid. And I'm a my dashing kid. Okay, okay. But, but today, <laughs> you're Asgard. Now collect your weapons. Go and find anything you can pick up. How does he have time for all this? I know. <laughs> today is a day that will go down in history. Today, we are space Vikings. The power of the Oh, he amped the kids up. Oh, nice. Lead your army to that axe. We shall do our worst. <laughs> Who God? <laughs> My kinda just burnt the kid's eyes out. <laughs> Come on. So maybe this movie went a little left. That's okay. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Why did he hit Thor with the butt of the sword for him? He's hit body shot. It's calling her basically, it looks like. What? Thor's worst nightmare. Oh, she came in on Valkyrie's horse. I'm surprised she knew how to get there. Jay. You destroyed that sword and he's dead. The gateway's almost open. You gotta stop Stormbreaker. It's okay, I got him. Ah! 
Breaker, stop this! Get a hold of yourself! We're gonna get you out of there! Come on, Daddy! It's not Lady Thor. First off, the name is Mighty Thor! And secondly, I'll accept Dr. Jane Foster! He said whatever. So her name's Mighty Thor when she's like this? Eat I guess so. My hammer! The phrase. Axel! Get the moon! Aww. Good job. He got better. Don't need it. No. Oh. I would absorb the sword. Oh no. That's not good for her. Or it is. What does she have to do? Leave or something? The sword? Jane? I'm okay. You have to stop him. So it's still open. Who's that supposed to be? The Watcher? That's what I think. It looks like him. Go stop! What kind of father would I be if I stopped? Yeah, he's like the eye. I know your pain, but this isn't the way. It's not death or revenge that you seek. What do I seek? Oh, no. You seek love. Love. Why should I seek love? Because it's all any of us want. How dare you turn your back on me? You've won, Gold. That might be Batman, but I don't know. Why would I spend my <laughs> last moments with you when I can be with her? I choose love. You can too. You can bring her back. Make your wish. Why didn't you think of that before? You did. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm dying. She would have no one. She would be alone. She won't be alone. Is she suggesting that Thor's about to raise her? That's the vibe I got. You looked at her like, you better take care of this kid. <laughs> That's my wish. Yeah, but him doing this is gonna mess up universes, right? Yeah, that was the Watcher. to know it's the best one yet <laughs> thanks mm. keep your heart open i love you i love you too dang are we about to write off jane foster to be honest bro she lasted four movies that's pretty good please go to valhalla it looks like her please Be a little emotionally unstable for a bit. 
Well, now he's like an obligation. Imagine someone tries to kill you and everybody related to you, and then now you gotta take care of their kid. And that poor kid has to know a bunch of gods died just so she could live. Crazy. Let me tell you the legend of the Space Viking, aka the Mighty Thor, aka Dr. Jane Foster. Oh, she got Aww. a statue? Deserved. Her sacrifice saved the universe and taught us all what it means to be worthy. Okay. The kids were safe to be kids again. Speaking of futures, I was forging one of my own now that my body's grown back with a dude I met called Dwayne. What about Thor, you ask? He embarked on a new journey because he had found something to live for, something to love for. A little someone who turned him from sad god into dad god. Breakfast is served. Bon appetit. Hello. There you go. Excuse me, what is that? The, the pan from Earth. I don't think I like pan flaps. You love them. I don't. Yes, you do. I've never had that in my life. Come on, eat, eat up. We have to go. We're going to be late. Now, where are your boots? I'm wearing them. You're not wearing Yes, I am. No, you're not. Go to hell, demon! <laughs> Brand new. Now destroyed. Thank you very much. You know what? You wear what you want. Don't come complaining to me when your feet get sore, right? You get no sympathy here from me. I'm fine. I'll wear the boots. Thank you. I remember what my mother used to tell me. Listen to the grown-ups. Anyone scared or being picked on, look after, okay? Okay. Most of all, Got gotcha. Now, where? Me on there. Where'd I... Over there, sleeping in the bed. In the... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, she put makeup on it. <laughs> that is not coming off. What did you do? Eh, she looked boring before. Yeah, I suppose it did. Love it. Very creative. Okay. Now, you see the aliens down there, the stripey ones? They look nice. Yeah, they are nice. That's why we have to look after them. Got it. Protect the nice ones. I love you, sweetie. Love you, Uncle Thor. They will always be there for us. The space viking and his girl born from maternity with the powers of a So she gets the hammer. <laughs> Two the warriors <laughs> fighting the good fight for those who can't fight good. They have traveled far and have been given many names. But to those who know them best, they are simply known as love and thunder. There we go. That so that sense. is why it's called that. Right. Very interesting. It used to be that being a god meant something. People would whisper your name before sharing their deepest hopes and dreams. They begged you for mercy without ever knowing if you were actually listening. Now, you know, they look to the sky. They don't ask us for lightning. They don't ask us for rain. They just want to see one of their so-called superheroes. When did we become the joke? When you became in charge. <laughs> they will fear us again. When Thor Odinson falls from the sky. Do you understand me, Oculus? Do you understand me, my son? Yes, father. Oh, so Hercules is about to get a movie? Either that or we're about to get Thor 5. <laughs> Looks like she made it in. Yay! Oh, hey. Jane Foster. Oh, no, there's Heimdall. Heimdall? I see you're dead now. Uh, yeah. Thank you for looking after my son. You are very welcome here to the land of the gods. Welcome to Valhalla. Yeah, I figured she'd get in. All right, guys, so I guess we get Thor 5. <laughs> or he's in an Avenger movie. <laughs> Um, so I liked the movie. I thought it was pretty good. I thought the first, I thought the first half of the movie was a little better than the second half. Once the kids started fighting and stuff, it kind of lost me. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I thought that was a little corny to say the least. But I do think it was a fun movie. I mean, it's fun. That's really yeah. all you can ask for out of Thor movies, right? I mean, at this point, I mean, I stopped going into like these movies thinking, where's this gonna take the story? Right. That's my yeah. Point, yeah. And and if you just stop doing that, then you realize like these are better than than. Some would say they I basically guess. had this movie to kill off Jane. Yeah, which sucks. And, and, they, and I guess to make to give him a daughter for randomly. And yeah. then another thing is, I guess they had this whole issue was with Thor is he's eternal in a sense or he's going to go to Valhalla, but she's just a human. So I guess that was the story's way of like giving closure to that whole situation right there or giving Thor like something. You know how they're always like um, when like Vikings die, they're always like to Valhalla. Yeah. Like maybe now he has a reason to want to go to Valhalla. Right. Yeah. 
But yeah, I thought it was a really fun movie. Uh, I don't really think it advanced the story too much. I don't really know that it's taking us anywhere. Unless Zeus turns into a bad god. Well, even if that happens, that doesn't do anything for me in terms of the story. Like, Marvel's just at a dead end. Like, Marvel has no sense of direction right now. I thought the movie was really fun. And in terms of a Marvel movie, I thought it actually hit the mark because it was just funny and fun to watch and colorful and all that good stuff. I don't give a damn about Thor. I don't care about Hercules or or not Thor. I don't give a damn about uh, Hercules. I don't really care about Zeus. I think that storyline's boring. I don't really need any of it. The gods have already diminished themselves in my eyes. I, I think they're corny at this point. And so I don't really think we need more of that storyline. I think that what this franchise is missing is like the Avengers concept where everything is sort of tying into a bigger story. I, I think, yeah. honestly, guys, I'd be lying if I said I didn't think this Marvel was all over the place at this point. I mean, it's it kind of is the place. right now. I will kind of agree with that, like, especially with this movie. Like, I mean, it was a good movie for itself, like by itself. But when you put it in the MCU, it kind of makes everything to me just like I it gives know. me I, it has it gives I'm... me more questions than answers. Right. And I think it takes the seriousness of the MCU and it just in my mind, I think it just undercuts it when you have all these little kids. All of a sudden they can have Thor powers and they're fighting. It just didn't really land for right, me, I, but I, I did think the movie was. Yeah, fun. I agree with that, because I guess like the first 23 movies of the MCU I felt like a lot was at stake. And they had a purpose. Stakes were very high. Um, all that kind of stuff. And I don't know when I'm just kind of missing that from this. This is more lighthearted part of the uh, well, journey, I guess. An ignorant person might could mistake this and say maybe they're just milking it at this point. You know, maybe. Uh, don't get me wrong. Everyone loves Thor. We like these movies. And and I don't have a problem with the movie, but I'm going to say it for the last time. Guys, seriously, I just think that the show needs some direction. I don't really know. Watching this movie, the next Marvel project, I have no answers about what it's going to be about. Unless it's going to be about, right? Uh, you know, well, Zeus. my my opinion is they're putting these like you know like they had Hawkeye with Kate Bishop, they have Thor now with Love, they have they're just like having all these like the the people we know, but like oh yeah, like uh, Black Widow and Yelena, um, they're just like putting all these high names like with a new person, so maybe we'll watch it too. <laughs> I don't know. But by the time this show gets a direction, all these new characters they've introduced are going to be 65 years old and you're going to have to do it again. So <laughs> I just think Marvel needs to come up with a direction, man. And that's just being that's just being real. I feel like ever since we finished Endgame, this sh whole entire series has been directionless. I think there's been a lot of really fun projects and I don't think that it diminishes the movie. I think they're still extremely fun to watch, like I've said, for the fifth time. But I, like I said, I have no I was really hoping going into this every time I go into a Marvel project, I'm like, OK, I'm going to get an idea of what this series is now about. But, dude, I just I, I can't. The weird thing in this can't. one was it tied the watcher in, too, which was like someone we know. Because, I mean, it didn't say him, but it showed him and we know about him. And I get that ties it all in. But it's like so you could take that storyline anywhere. I right. feel like maybe people didn't I'm like trying to look for some positive here. I'm trying not to be so negative. And it's not negative because it was a fun movie. I, I'm just saying I just I don't know where we're going in Marvel. Like I, I'm having fun with the shows. I mean, they're fun. They're fun to watch. But. Like, who's the bad guy here? What are we trying to accomplish? What's the end game of, like, the opposition? You know, what's the fate of the universe in the balance for? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just, maybe the multiverse and the structure of it itself is what's in the balance. Maybe keeping the whole multiverse in order is the ultimate goal now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. But I thought it was a fun movie, man. It was a really fun movie for sure. So, thank you guys for hanging out with us and watching it. Let me know in the comments, man. Why do people hate this movie? A lot of people love this movie. I, I thought it was a fun movie. I, th I think in terms of like the funness of the movie and did they do a good job with it? I think they killed the movie. I just think it's not really like an issue with the movie for me. It's more of just Marvel in general. It just needs a direction, I feel like. I think that this franchise could be so different if it would just figure out what it's trying to do. But I feel like something's going on at Marvel Land or something because these dudes are just completely not on the same page. It's just being real. So... Uh, that's just my opinion, but I thought the movie was fun. What do you think? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Uh, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reactions. What's next? Um, I guess we're just going to watch the Groot series in one. All right, guys, so we're watching Groot next. We'll see you guys on the next one.